is a fight for the future. Africa, why Bobo? Sin un tipili in Mox, ma magin presidente in Mox, Donald Trump, Amala Harris, will be the president to take the government out from mess and holy shit. Kung ikay Americano, at ikaw why Bobo? Sin un tipili in Mox. Na maging presidente mo, Donald Trump o Kamala Harris, will be the president to take the government out from mess and holy shit. For weeks, the average of national polls in the U.S. has shown Democrat Kamala Harris with a slight edge over Republican Donald Trump. I, of course, Donald Trump, because of your style, like Duterte, Rodrigo Duterte and Donald Trump are best friends. Yes, absolutely. If I have a chance to vote in the United States, I will vote Donald Trump 100% without thinking. She gets the guts and brain, money. What else do you want to know? Siba? <laughs> Parang si Donald Trump eh. Eh, may experience na yun eh. I will vote Donald Trump. She gets a gut, brain, money. What else do you want to know? <laughs> si ba? Who are you gonna support this coming 2024 presidential election? Who am I voting or supporting this coming presidential election? Yes, I am supporting and voting for President Trump 101%. Yes, I am voting for President Trump. Kamala po. Bakit po siya ma? Girl power. Saka mas ano siya, parang mas um, powerful siya sa Amerika ngayon. Ay, gusto ko leader babae. Paano po tayo mamatutulungan ni Harris yung napili niyo pong U.S. President para po gumanda yung buhay dito sa Pilipinas? Uh, siguro, uh, pag-usapan nila yung about ng mga problema sa Pilipinas, mas maayos kausap. <laughs> Kapag tungkol sa mga ano, desisyon na ano, tama. <laughs> or parang na nakita mo na nagustuhan mo ay si Harris kumpara kay Donald Trump. Kasi po may napanood po ako kagabi yung kay Donald Trump po na uh, against po siya sa abortion which is parang hindi po okay sa akin kasi syempre may karapatan naman po siguro tayo yung mga babae na about sa abortion. There are million reasons million reasons I am exaggerating that I'm obviously uh, exaggerating it because there is uh, really a need to be our president is coming this 2024 to be uh, President Trump you don't you may not like President Trump yes you may not like him but he is the one who is really fitted or really suited to be the next president not like, uh, you know, uh, Harris. Harris, uh, Kamala Harris doesn't have the experience. Yes, she is the vice president, but her policy is really not good for America. Donald, I think it's better for him to attack him when he's a president. He's better for him to attack him. Kung ano po yung gagawin niya? Democrat. Kasi po? Si Harris. Bakit po? Sa Democrat, America, at saka pa. Uh, Pilipino sa Pilipinas, eh, parang yung nasa ano ng Democrat. Yun. There are many reasons, or several reasons, why I don't like Kamala Harris to be the next president of United States. It is not because 
she is a woman, uh, it is because of her policy. It so happened that her policy is not aligned with my ideology as a conservative. Yes, I accept that I am a Republican conservative whose ideology is really different from the Democrat. Well, even on foreign policy, I don't even I don't even support Kamala Harris policy. Um, as a Filipino American, I don't support her policy. I don't support the Biden administration policy. Um, I remember she was sent as a surrogate by the Biden administration. Uh, uh, yes, she was sent to the Philippines to talk about the EDCA, to talk with the uh, Marcos administration. This is an extension of the Biden uh, uh, administration. So that's why I don't support Kamala Harris. I don't like that. And I don't like their policy when it comes to the West Philippine Sea. So they are building the, uh, the camp, the military camps there in the Philippines. And I don't like that. I don't support that. Definitely, I will not vote for Kamala Harris. I, of course, Donald Trump, because of your style, like Duterte, Rodrigo Duterte and Donald Trump are best friends. Yes, absolutely. If I have a chance to vote in the United States, I will vote Donald Trump 100% without thinking. She gets the guts and brain, money, whatever you want to know. Diba? <laughs> Parang si Donald Trump eh. Eh, may experience na yun eh. I will vote Donald Trump. She gets the gut, brain, money, whatever you want to know. <laughs> diba? Well, Kamala Harris' policy is just an extension of the Biden administration policy. Especially uh, when it comes to national security, we are really in danger. But you know what? Um, Kamala Harris is a uh, great flip flopper. Why? Now she are she is supporting uh, she is supporting uh, President Trump's policy. One. Uh, even before even before he, she became the vice president, she never never support the Trump policy when it comes to. Uh, border, southern border security. And when she became vice president, she was assigned by President Biden to be the uh, border czar or to be to oversee the chaos or the issue, the problem in the southern border. But what did she do? She did nothing. I remember in one of the interviews, of, uh, a media, one of the media personnel asked her if or what has she done or if she, if she has been to the border and what was her answer? Her answer was, I've never been to Europe. See, imagine that. Choose, I think it's going to be Kamala Harris because some of her policy proposals really cares about the middle class of uh, American and how they can uh, build their own wealth and, and Donald Trump's like tax plans and everything else is really beyond what a normal person would do. Kamala, I think she'd be the next president. I think she is a lot more grounded than Trump is and I think in politics when you use sensationalism to win votes and things like that, I think it's very bad for the people. She debates well. Uh, she doesn't talk about herself all the time and she doesn't spout nonsense. She seems to be more of a people person. When was the first time and last time that she went to the border? Just recently. Because she is running to be the president of the United States. Did she do anything to mitigate or to... Uh, did she do anything to control the influx of people in the border? No, she did not nothing. She did not do anything to solve the problem. 
But instead, she is supporting the policy of the Biden administration to be or to have an open border. Uh, Trump. Why? Because he's strong determination and a bold man. Harris is just a beginner. As, uh, usually, he is from businessman come to a politics and uh, he got a strong version or so. I believe Harris put up a solid, very solid um, presentation on what she wants to do for the country, the economy, the people, the uh, border control issues, the low-income people and the marginalised uh, of those immigr immigrants and all that. Uh, Trump is uh, not my favourite ever since he incited the, the White House chaos. Well, I'm really voting for uh, Trump, for Donald Trump. You or we may not like his personality, but he is really the best or the best person for that position as a president. Trump, because I like his um, views on cryptocurrency. Not Trump. I mean, whoever it is, not Trump, because he's really weird and like he did shit in North Korea, and I'm South Korean, so like I don't really follow Trump. I think Trump would be a good president. I don't know about her, but for me, yeah. Not Trump. Not Trump. Really not Trump. Hope not Trump. Uh, Donald Trump. Kamala Harris is good, but she's not so daring as Donald Trump. Donald Trump make one decision and he stick to it. The way I saw Trump since when he was a president of the U.S., the way he talks, the way he behaves, he doesn't give a shit about anybody. He just talk like... Bah, 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 bah. You know, for Kamala, I don't know about, much about her, but among the two, I choose the less damaging guy. That is her. I don't support the Kamala and Biden policy, especially uh, Kamala Harris policy right now. They are not supporting the fracking industry or the fracking in Pennsylvania. As a Democrat, you know, they are Democrats. Definitely, they are anti-racking. Look, the uh, the cost of our energy, the cost of our gasoline nowadays, after the Trump administration, it went skyrocketing, actually. It went up so high, it's so expensive. Our gas, our, you know, we are paying too much, but actually we can actually, uh, uh, during the time of uh, Trump administration, we never experienced that much. I would prefer Trump, maybe because I could see him as uh, someone who wants uh, peace rather than fight, because Trump will always have a good relation with other countries such as North Korea and even uh, Saudi Arabia and stuff. So I choose more to Kamala lah. Sebab mostly dia akan support women instead of Trump. Trump yang macam before this yang I tahu lah dengan scrolling media benda semua. Uh, Trump macam apa pendatang Mexico tu nak buat wall tu semua kan. Tony Harris for Singapore because I think the US actually has done a lot of building relationship with the Southeast Asian countries because of protecting our borders as well. Do you feel more safe if Harris is going to be there? Yes, definitely. Harris is the one. With Trump's administration, there is a certain level of uh, animosity with China, and I don't think that helps us in any way, especially as a country that relies on trade and on tourism. It affects us a lot. Even Donald Trump come, if he was a president, he never affect Malaysia. He had good terms with uh, our Prime Minister. And now, Kamala Harris is running for the position to be the next president and she is flip-flopping. Now she is pro, uh, now she is pro fracking, meaning to say she supports the fracking in Pennsylvania. See how great, how great she is when it comes to flip-flop, when it comes to major policy issues especially here, the domestic issue, you know, even important policy issue, everything. That's why I don't really, I, I don't really support Kamala Harris. I would prefer uh, President Trump. First thing on a on personal note, he's uh, pro-crypto. 
so he, he, he gels well with me. La. But on the other hand, he's uh, really all out to stopping the wars that's happening. So I think that, that is good for, for everyone. I think Kamala would still uh, be better uh, than Donald Trump in that sense because of the brinkmanship and the you know, strong man uh, philosophy that Donald Trump puts into his foreign policy wouldn't be good, especially if he meets someone as stern as our incoming president, uh, Prabowo, who would be you know, quite stern to foreign leaders. Uh, so I think uh, diplomacy-wise and um, in order to, to help Indonesia bring back its you know, healthy democracy, I think someone from a democratic party would be better for Indonesia. Parang si Donald Trump eh. Ay na! Siguro naman tutulong siya kasi meron tayong ano eh, meron tayong tawag dito, yung alliance nga, Philippines and US. Sumuporta siya dun sa ano, sa problema natin sa China, lalong-lalong na dun sa ano, yung sa karagatan na sinasakop na China which is atin. But now, Kamala Harris is running to be the next president. Now, she is pro-fracking. Imagine that. She is really pro-fracking. She is saying that. Why to win votes, especially uh, in Pennsylvania? Because Pennsylvania is a crucial uh, state to win uh, the electoral votes in order for them to win the presidency. But now, she is pro-fracking. My God, I cannot, I cannot stand that. That's why I really will, I will not really vote for Kamala Harris. So, ang important sa amin, kung ano yung panawag, ay ano yung pa, paniniwala, ano yung action nila nagagawin para doon sa climate change talaga. Babawasan ba nila yung fossil, yung fossil fuel nila? Babawasan ba nila yung uh, carbon emissions nila? Yun po yung titignan namin para makita namin sino po talaga yung para sa mga Pilipino. I believe si Harris. Um, kung magkakaroon lang tayo ng coordination to other country, kung magiging open lang tayo, magkakaroon talaga tayo ng support na kailangan natin for our country. Ano support na gusto makuha natin from the U.S.? Siguro yung sa ano, uh, ang tag dito, sa mga vessels, sa mga machineries and everything, lalo na um, nagkakaroon ng pangamba na tayo ay magera. The first one is conflicted. The second one is uh, first women black general attorney of California. So do your math. It's definitely Kamala. Yeah, I don't want any of them. <laughs> But I think uh, if Kamala, Kamala Harris can win, I mean the first woman, a black woman to win, I mean, changes history. Lah. Just like similar Obama won last time, I guess. That will be something uh, exciting and interesting. Lah. During 2016, I actually did not support uh, Donald Trump during the primary election. My first choice during the time was uh, Senator Marco Rubio. It, but what happened, he became the nominee, so he became the president. So I supported him during the election, All right? 2016 until 2020. Then he ran for, he ran for re-election during the 2020 after uh, his first term. And still, I supported him, you know? So, on the third time, this time, I'm going to support President Trump. We may not like him, actually, personally, because of his, uh, you know, demeanor or because of his attitude or behavior or character. But I strongly support President Trump to be the next president of the United States of America. You have my vote. Mr. President. Trump.